I really can't recommend that store highly enough. A couple more visits and you'll find that the fur on your tail is silky smooth. A gorgeous tail like yours deserves lots of tender loving care. <laughs> Don't you agree? Uh, no need. I'm not <coughs> interested in that kind of thing. You say that, but do I see your ears saying otherwise? Although your tail isn't professionally maintained, the fur doesn't look dry and coarse. To me, this says you like to take care of it. I'm also guessing that you like to curl up into a fetal position and hug your fluffy tail tight as you go off to sleep. How do you know? <clears throat> Don't be ridiculous. I'm a high-ranking general of Watatsumi Island. How could I do such a thing? Oh, it's okay. There's no need to be embarrassed. The desire to cuddle up to a soft tail while sleeping is quite natural. Really? W wait, no. Why are we still on this topic? In fact, why am I even here talking about tails with you in the first place? Why? Because you are blessed with a wonderful fluffy tail, that's why. I think it's very cute. Ugh. Trapped. How do I get out of this? It's you! Oh, thank goodness. Please save me. Oh, and how is my favorite little one doing, hmm? I didn't expect to meet you here. We were just talking about tails. Goro has a beautiful tail, don't you think? Doesn't it make you want to stroke it? Hey! Not you too! <laughs> <laughs> Goro, now do you understand how appealing your tale is? Uh, pardon me. Lady Gucci, we have completed the matter you instructed us about previously. We have selected a very skilled artist to be in charge. I'm confident that the finished product will be to your satisfaction. I'll take a look later, and if everything's in order, place it in front of the store. All right, I won't tease the two of you any further. Do make the most of your trip here, won't you? Quite a lot has changed. <laughs> I wish you both a fun-filled time on Narukami Island. There was definitely something strange about the way she looked at me in the end there. Could she be plotting something? Sorry that you had to see that. The real reason I'm here at Yai Publishing House is to buy some books for Her Excellency. Since Watatsumi Island signed a peace treaty with the Shogunate, we've had much closer contact than we did before. I also wanted to come and see what things are like in an area ruled by the Shogunate. I hadn't counted on running into her. <sighs> I've interacted with her a few times before, but I can't say I've ever gotten used to it. I've never been good at dealing with people like her. The way she towers over me and speaks so cryptically. Something about her is strangely intimidating. I could probably deal with her in battle, but I don't know where to start when I run into her in normal life. I guess this is a weakness of mine. <sighs> You're right. I've heard Her Excellency say the same thing before. In any battle, you need to think about how to avoid your shortcomings. As long as I don't come into contact with Yaimiko, everything should be fine. Really? <sighs> well, it's a relief to hear that. In that case, I still have some business to take care of with the Yai Publishing House. They run a monthly magazine called That's Life, which has an advice column. Readers write in about their problems, and I'm responsible for responding to them. I'm not quite sure why they chose me, but it's my job now, and I can't give it up just like that. Yai Miko just handed me the latest batch of readers' letters. Uh, let's find a place to write the replies, then pack them up and send them back to Yai Publishing House. Upon this path that leads me straight to you, your shadow strengths will guide me through. In my dreams I find myself go back in time to when you were still with me. But then suddenly you vanish and I'm left alone with nowhere to proceed. Out of breath, I keep on searching for an answer that will lead my way to you. Near or far, through the pain and through the scars, I'll catch up to you and show you what I can do. I come so.
This place looks nice and quiet. Why don't we write the replies here? The sooner I get them finished and handed back to the publisher, the sooner we can go do something else. I just hope I don't have another run-in with, uh, you-know-who at the Yai Publishing House later. Anyway, the writing could take me some time. The questions I receive are often so strange that I have to think long and hard about how to best answer them. Ah, you want to scout ahead? Yeah, that works. This way, if Yai Miko's lying in wait for me there, I can avoid her. But stay sharp, okay? She is a force to be reckoned with. You must be sure to tread carefully. If you spot her, get yourselves back here right away, and we'll run for our lives. I mean, uh, uh we'll make a strategic retreat. Anyway, I'm counting on you. All right, everyone, settle down. We are gathered here today, united by a common purpose. Now, who can tell me what they think that might be? Well, of course, it's to tell the whole world about how wonderful Miss Hina is. An excellent answer. How gentle she is, how understanding she is, how delightfully mischievous she can be, on occasion. We can all testify to the great joy that Miss Hina has brought to our lives. But my friends, there are so many people out there in this world who still need Miss Hina's salvation. We can help by spreading the good news about Miss Hina to every soul in the world. My friend, do you have a moment to talk about Miss Hina? <gasps> friends, I found one! Someone needs our help! Shh! Calm your voice down, we don't want to scare him off. Hello, my friend. On this joyous day, we would like to open our hearts to you and tell you about the existence of a perfect being. She is gentle, kind, understanding. She is the brightest star in our sky. Here, have this pamphlet. So, what do you think? My apologies! In my excitement, I forgot to give you all the details. Have you ever come across a magazine called That's Life, published by the Yae Publishing House? It's a monthly magazine featuring, amongst other things, an advice column. We were among the first readers to send in letters seeking advice, and we've received kind and gentle replies to each one. Although the editor chose to conceal her name, gender, and other details, we all see her as an emphatic older sister figure and feel convinced that she must be the same sort of person in real life. Oh, there's no mistaking it. Just from her letters, I can feel that she respects me, trusts me. She has a natural ability to connect with people. She's so considerate. She can always sense our true emotions from our letters and never fails to deliver the advice and the encouragement we need. Except when it comes to the topic of romantic love. She's clearly not an expert there. But even then, that just makes her all the more endearing to us. Recently, the column went through a low period where it just wasn't popular at all. In fact, they almost axed it. Fortunately, Yae Publishing House made the decision to publicize her image, and then the column finally started to grow in popularity. That's right! Miss Hina is the person in charge of That's Life Magazine's advice column. She is the one we all admire and adore so greatly. And so, 
When we heard that Yae Publishing House would be revealing the official likeness of Miss Hina today, we immediately came here from wherever we were, all over the nation, to gather together and to witness this grand moment in history! Please, gaze upon the radiant beauty of Miss Hina. See how truly lovely she is. I've been following Miss Hina's column since the very first issue of That's Life! Welcome to the Miss Hina Fan Club! Just as I planned. I don't know if you know the word fan? A friendly adventurer lady taught it to us a few years ago. She seemed to know everything. <sighs> oh, hey, there you are. Is, uh, <clears throat> uh you know who at Yai Publishing House? Whew, that's good. I just finished writing my replies, so I was about to head to Yai Publishing House and hand them in. Why? Hmm. I guess it's because I can help people this way. Also, the editor said to me, this is something that only you are capable of. They made quite a solemn request when they first approached me, so I felt like I couldn't refuse it. But once I'd settled into it, I found myself really enjoying it. Before I knew it, I had written hundreds of replies, and sometimes they'd respond again just to thank me. It made me so happy whenever they'd compliment me. Uh, every time I think about that terrifying woman, I feel like I want nothing to do with Yai Publishing House. But then, whenever I think about how my replies can help so many people, I feel a sense of responsibility. By this point, I'm so used to it that I'd probably find it hard to adjust if I ever gave it up. Well... I don't quite know what's going on, but I'd like to get these letters delivered quickly while you know who isn't around. I'm really looking forward to the readers' reactions when they receive my letters. In the army, people are always a little reserved when talking to me, because I'm a general. But those obstacles are removed when you're communicating via letters. Everyone who writes seems to treat me like that one friend who they can share anything and everything with. So I'm not about to let them down. Let's head over. Hmm? But Yai Publishing House isn't far from here, if I remember correctly. Let's just head there together. Besides, this way, if uh, you know who does show up, we can look out for each other. Let's go! Strange. It seems unusually lively here today. I don't come here often. Is it like this most of the time? Hey, there seems to be some commotion over there. Let's check it out. Allow me to reiterate, my friends. We in the Miss Hina fan club must abide by the club rules. Firstly, we mustn't try and probe into Miss Hina's true identity. We of all people cannot cause her any trouble. Secondly, Fans of Miss Hina are not to make any controversial statements when representing the fan club. We must exercise self-discipline and present a good image in front of other people. Thirdly, while our mission is to promote Miss Hina in every way possible, if someone we're talking to says they're not interested, we are to respect that and not go forcing it down their throats. And finally, we are here today because Miss Hina has brought us together, but we are also here to change ourselves for the better, for her sake! Can we do that, people? Can we do that? Yes, we can! Always make her proud and never bring her down! Oh, so this is what they call a fan club. I don't know whose fan club it is, but they are raring to go. Reminds me of the rallying speeches we used to give before going into battle. Hmm, something's up, isn't it? I can tell. You're avoiding my gaze. Did something happen? <gasps> it's not her, is it? Excuse me, friend. Something about you looks awfully similar to Miss Hina. I see. Well, one way or another, 
fate has brought you here. Have you ever heard of Miss Hina? Uh, sorry, I'm not sure. Well, now's as good a time as any for you to find out more. Miss Hina is gentle, kind, and considerate. You can tell her anything that is bothering you, and she will patiently advise you on how to deal with it. Oh, well, she sounds like a very pleasant person to be around. She must be the polar opposite of Yaimiko, right? But he's the spitting image of Miss Hina. I wonder if they're blood relatives. Shh! Have you forgotten? We may not pry into Miss Hina's identity. At least let's take a photo with him. <clears throat> Friend, may we take a photo with you? We borrowed a camera specifically to witness the official unveiling of Miss Hina's image today. Uh, sure, that's fine. Why do they want to take a picture with me? All right, sure. Ah, <sighs> that should do it. Right, I should really be heading to the Yai Publishing House to hand in those letters now. Uh, make way, everyone, make way. <laughs> the Miss Hina billboard is here. Please, make some space. <laughs> Coming through. Hey, everybody, it's the real Miss Hina! Miss Hina! Miss Hina! Now I'm curious, too. Let's go over and take a look. Huh? Why? What's the problem? Uh, really? Then we can't stay. Let's get out of here. As curious as I am to see what all the fuss is about, it'll have to wait until next time. So please join me again the next time I'm delivering letters. What are you mulling over, Paimon? Do you remember Goro's fluffy ears? Paimon really wants something like that. <gasps> oh, or maybe a horn similar to the ones Ganyu has. Ganyu's horns are pretty cute as well. Do you have any ideas? Let me see. Hmm. Oh, I, I found something. Really? Oh, Paimon always knew you were reliable. Ta-da! I present to you the tusk of Monoceros Chaley. Uh, Paimon doesn't need that! <sighs> if Paimon can have Goro's fluffy ears, then maybe at least something like his fluffy tail! But da da da! Here you go! Tail of Boreas! Uh, not that! Also, combining those two is definitely not the look Paimon is going for. <laughs> <laughs> 